Hello there, everybody. Welcome to your morning coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for today, Thursday, January 24th. This is not specific to anything. This is not love specific, science specific, career or anything, whatever. This is just a general message for anybody who wants to tune in. This is whatever spirit would like to share with us or discuss with us today. Yeah. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. All followers right now do get a 20% discount off of a general freestyle reading. Um, but act fast because that sale ends midnight, January 31st. And then from there, <clears throat> um, it's going strictly to... Uh, New followers, as of February 1st, get 20% off their first freestyle reading, okay? But for right now, up until January 31st, I'm doing a sale. All of my Instagram followers get 20% off a general freestyle reading, okay? Um, also, you can go ahead and like me on Facebook. Um, I am trying to uh, curate the posts for both for both sites uh, a bit differently so it's not just like the same content over and over um but yeah uh facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711 go ahead and give me a like there um and yeah i think that's it uh february zodiac readings should be out this weekend Woo! i plan on finishing the last three tonight and then i just have to do editing so actually, it might be out earlier than that, but we'll see. Uh, this weekend by the latest, yeah? All right, guys, let's get into it. Mm, green tea. Yes, I am drinking tea. I did mention it once before, but for those of you that are wondering, I record this these readings very early in the morning. It's, like, it's 6.15 right now, and I haven't eaten anything, and I'm trying not to uh, drink coffee on an empty stomach. So I am drinking tea. <laughs> In case you were wondering. Okay, here we go, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, January 24th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, guys, so that song, Crocodile Tears, is still running through my head. Like, it literally was the first thing I heard when I woke up this morning, which is, at this point, is not really starting, it is starting to not really make too much sense. Um, I know it's not, it really can't be coming, it's not, that's okay, Spirit just said it. It's not coming from me personally. Um, because I very much moved past that vibration. Um, and if you follow her, uh, Emily of Indigo Moons Healing, she released a, a twin flame reading, I think it was yesterday, in which she said that the Divine Feminine may be pushing the Divine Masculine away if he or she is trying to contact you telepathically. And I really think that's what... Th this song playing in my head has to do with um, because it's very collective. It's a collective energy. Um, and while Ooh. excuse me, while I'm glad I shared it um, because it's definitely something that needs to be expressed, felt, and healed. Now it's really time for us to really work on moving past that. Um, Go ahead and check me out on Instagram. I did a live reading last night in which we kind of talked about this. Um, and, and, you know, the, the apology was still coming through. The Page of Cups came out again, and it did come out during that the, the Insta Daily reading. But then I, I, I pulled some advice for both sides of the party um, when it comes to reconciliation for advice for the, uh, the one who got hurt and advice for the perpetrator or the one who uh, wants to apologize, wants to make amends. And the advice for the one who got hurt was that you have to understand that regardless of who's right and who's wrong, 
because I don't believe in right or wrong any longer. I personally, I only believe that there's only experience and perception. But for those who got hurt, you have to understand that regardless of who is right or wrong, the other person has a point of view as well. And even if you don't want to reconcile and you know work together to rebuild the relationship for your own healing, okay, you, it, it, it would behoove you to get out of this or pull yourself out of this vibration and really just be compassionate, be open and loving and just be like, look, okay, it is what it is. If you're sorry, great, I'm sorry too, blah, blah, blah. I wish you well, let's just move forward, okay? So if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and check me out and watch that reading because it really may help you. It's the live, it's a live reading, okay? All right. Thursday, January 24th. I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got here. All righty, kids. Thank you so much, Spirit. Best messages, please, for today, January, Thursday, January 24th. deck we have temperance okay patience <laughs> and what spirit is saying to me personally is eric you have to have patience with the collective okay <laughs> you might be hearing this song a lot more than you would like but what i did <laughs> okay i get it but what i did personally is i just changed it i changed it to a different song yeah okay so you have temperance here so this is the balance, okay? This is the alchemate, alchemization, okay? This is, um, any hand lotion? This is, you know, the, combin the, the combining and two opposing forces. This is absolutely happening on an energetic level here. Even if you're not a twin flame or you don't resonate with the twin flame situation, um, that this, this temperance is happening for you too. Uh, like I've been saying, many of us have been in between worlds lately and, you know, in between two different paradigms, the past and the future. Um, and it's like those energies are combining in a sense. There is, I'm seeing that there's a closing out of timelines, of paradigms, timelines collapsing, um, and the energy being reorganized and um, in, in purpose of moving you towards the future, moving you out of, you know, the old mindsets, the old belief systems, the situations, the circumstances, whatever the old paradigm or, um, yeah, whatever the old paradigm represents for you. All of that is closing out. Um, karmic debts are being paid. Um, the universe is working almost as if it's working double time, <laughs> which... The universe is laughing at me for saying that. They're like, what does that even mean? But <laughs> but it's like they're, in our, as far as we would understand it, it's like they're working double time to um, close out these old paradigms and help us make this shift, okay? So you have to be patient because this is not something that's just going to happen overnight, okay? Now, we have the Three of Wands, the Hermit, the Three of Cups, the, the Knight of Pentacles, and, ooh, the Five of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, ooh, the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. That is not good. <laughs> that is not good, y'all. But you see, that this is exactly why, yeah, this is exactly why I'm hearing this song in my head so much. And it's, again, it's on a collective level, okay? So let's start with the top. Three of Wands and the Hermit. Um, many of us have gone into Hermit mode. And um, this has everything to do with all of the work that you've been doing, okay? You are waiting for some sort of return on an investment here with the Three of Wands. But I'm going to be completely honest with you. This hermit mode at this point is starting to feel a little unhealthy, okay? 
because of now the way I'm feeling it, and this is why it feels a little unhealthy. The way I'm feeling it is that, um, you know, you've done a lot of work and you have risen in vibration. Um, and at first it was, it was a good idea to, um, hide yourself away because you needed time to acclimate. You needed time to your, for your body to shift, for your mind to shift. You needed some time to just, yeah, acclimate, to get used to this new vibration, this new energy, this new state of being, um, some of you did go, we're going into hermit mode to do even more work to keep the momentum going of the three of wands here. But in other cases, there are some of you that are just like, it, uh, spirit is saying spiritual elitism. It's like you've achieved this new level, this new vibration, and now you feel like you're, it's almost as if you're too good to, to, to be around the masses. And I would, um, caution against falling into that energy um, because it's I want to say it's low by low in vibration you're not too good for anyone no one is too good for anyone now this is not to say that you um, should not continue to protect yourself and stay away from um, energies people circumstances that are going to like bring you down in vibration energetic vampires and all of that but for some out there and i don't know who the, who this is for but for some out there there's a spiritual elitism that's going on here that is inadvisable okay um now that does have a lot to do with with, with what's going on down here with the queen of pentacles but i'll get that uh, i'll get to that in a second um <clears throat> Now, for others of you, this is an extension of what I had, I, a part of what I said in that, in that part, where you're trying, you're working on, you, you've, you've got the ball rolling, you've invested, you're waiting for a return on an investment, but it's almost as if you're, you, you are uh, periodically checking back in with yourself, um, taking, even if this just happens throughout the day, it, this could be happening throughout the day or this could be happening like at specific times during the week. For some of you, it's specific intervals, but it's like just taking time to just reconnect and do a little bit more soul searching here and there. In, oh, wow, that's funny. In order to keep the ball rolling. And I'm laughing because spirit is saying spiritual microdosing. Um, <laughs> which is like genius, which is so genius. Um, so a friend of mine, a very, very dear friend of mine is a shaman. Uh, and he, he um, works with psilocybin mushrooms and, um, you know, microdosing is a thing. So I, I've, I've heard of this through him. Microdosing is a thing where you take small doses of psychedelic substances in order to facilitate healing, in order to ex facilitate extended awakening sessions and, and all kinds of good stuff. It's it's really cool. So um, actually a lot of you already know of what I'm speaking of. Um, but that's what I'm seeing here with the Hermit and the Three of Wands. And that's beautiful. Spiritual microdosing. I love that. Just in, And that's in order to keep the ball rolling, even if you're not consciously aware of it. Um, that's what that's what's happening here. Okay, which is great now <laughs> moving forward we have The knight of pentacles and the three of cups The three of cups Definitely is a union energy. It's a reconciliatory energy It can be it can also be toxic um, social settings and whatnot But that's not what I'm seeing here. <laughs> what I'm seeing with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups is moving towards reconciliation. Now, and as soon as I start saying that, that song starts playing in my head, Crocodile Tears. Okay. I don't want to devalue anybody's point of view. If you're still in that vibration, that is okay. But Spirit is advising you to start mosey on, moseying on out <laughs> of that vibration. And you could do it Slow as molasses if you want to. 
with the Knight of Pentacles. Because to be quite honest, whoever is wanting to reconcile is moving just as slow as well. Not going to lie. Okay. Um, but for some of you, I, for some of you, and I want to say for some of you, it's, this is going to happen. Okay. It's coming because it just keeps coming out. I mean, this has been the topic of the week. I think that might be the title of this video. Reconciliation is the topic of the week because it just keeps coming out. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Reconciliation. The topic of the week. <laughs> because it literally, like in all the readings that I've been doing all week, it's been coming out. Well, for the general, the collective readings, okay? Um, but what, what this is really going to take... Now, okay, but also, I'm sorry, before I go any further, I do want to say, even though I'm saying for some of you this is going to happen, I, 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 please understand that I'm not a fortune teller, all right? I don't proclaim to be able to tell what, what's absolutely going to happen in the future. I really don't believe anyone can because of the law of free will. You can, you have the freedom to do whatever you want, say whatever you want, go wherever you want, believe whatever you want, think whatever you want. Um, hold of any sort of vibration that you want and that or these are those are all things that change the factor of a timeline in an instant okay so i do not i do not work with timelines often i do not proclaim to be a fortune teller but this just keeps coming out these energies are around the energies are within the collective so it's coming it's happening okay it might be slow as molasses with the knight of pentacles but understand that it's really not going to be the universe isn't really, and this is, and they were just saying this to me through temperance. The universe really isn't going to allow this to fully align. Well, okay, you could say it that way, Eric, but you could also say that um, it's just not going to fully align until you have this reconciliation within, this balance of mind, body, and spirit. Go ahead and check out that Instagram live reading last night, because from last night, because a lot of really good stuff came out in association with this and i really do feel like some of you there are some serious messages that some of you need to hear in the form of letting reconciliation happen just because someone may come back around and want to apologize may actually apologize or and and or subsequently may want to start over start anew you know um it doesn't mean you have to first of all but when you do not forgive, and I'm not trying to force anybody to forgive, I know how difficult it can be at times, but when you do not forgive, you only keep yourself in a prison, right? Okay. So, mm -hmm. so let's move on to this. Five of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. But the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Let's talk about that for a second. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is not pretty. Okay. Um, this is very destructive. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Now, think of it this way. I, I do very much see the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords as besties. Okay. They balance each other out very well. Um, they're both hard asses when they need to be. Although the Queen of Swords, y'all know, she's she's a firecracker, that one. But <laughs> she, <laughs> she is a force to be reckoned with. The Queen of Pentacles, the, the main difference, in my opinion, between the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords is that the Queen of Pentacles has way more emotion involved in the situation okay doesn't mean that she won't still hand you your ass when you need it she won't um you know give you that tough love when you need it but she's way more compassionate she's to me this is the archetype of the the mother um in the minor arcana okay so she's very compassionate she's very loving she's stern she's strong but she still knows how to good, have a good time. She still knows how to enjoy her situ her, her surroundings. Um, she can get into opulence every, every once in a while, you know, but she's very grounded. She's very sincere. Um, 
But when she's reversed, first of all, it's hard. It is really hard to get the Queen of Pentacles to turn her back on you, okay? Because she, I would say, of all of the queens, she has a deep intrinsic knowledge of what it means to struggle in life, what it means to learn some hard, tough lessons in life, okay? So it is very hard, very, very hard for the Queen of Pentacles to give up on you, to turn her back on you, to tell you she's done, she doesn't wanna see you anymore, she doesn't wanna hear from you anymore, she doesn't wanna associate with you anymore. It is very, very hard to do that. So think about how hard it's gonna be to get her to accept you back in her circle again. And it's not like she's being vindictive. It's not like she's being dramatic. It's not like she's trying to be a bitch. Whatever, whatever your ego wants to label it as, I promise you, it's not that. What it is, is why, is part of the reason why I see the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords as very similar characters. She will not allow her time and her resources to be wasted. If at any moment she gets a whiff of the fact that you're using her, taking advantage of her, whatever, she is not going to like it. Now, the Queen of Swords will cut you out right then and there, no questions asked. But the Queen of Pentacles is going to take her time. She's going to bide her time. And she's going to watch you. And she's going to make sure she knows exactly what you're doing. She's basically going to prove it to herself before she takes action. And by the time she takes action, she's got so much ammo against you, you have no chance. A, a snowflake has a better chance in hell of surviving than you do. Okay. So with all that said, Miss Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you are very conflicted, aren't you? Five of Wands. Because someone has been taking advantage of you. Someone has been lying to you. Someone has been cheating on you. Someone has been cheating you. Deceiving you. And you turned your back on them. But now, and that was a good thing to do. That was the healthy thing to do. Because they were narcissists. They were vam energetic vampires and all those buzzwords, right? But now, you're super conflicted. Because the universe is saying to you, open your heart again. Everyone deserves a second chance. A second chance, says the Queen of Pentacles. What about chance three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten that I gave this person? Open your heart again, dear one, says the universe. You must be out of your god freaking mind universe says the queen of pentacles but at the same time she gets it and that's why she's conflicted my my that sure was a story and a half <laughs> but i'm gonna leave it there because next i want to move into the clarification here We're gonna start with the Hermit and the Three of Wands, all right? Now, before I go any further, the universe is showing me that this absolutely could be why you're going back into Hermit mode a little bit with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Wands. Um, it's almost as if you're reassessing this investment that you made and whether you want to go back in that direction or if you want to continue moving forward. There is a bit of a sense of the Queen of Pentacles wondering if she's invested in the wrong place and the universe is saying, no, you haven't. You just have to readjust your thinking here. You have to open your mind more and it's not even like the universe is asking you to take this person back yeah they did say give them another chance so for some of you there's they're saying give give this person another chance they're asking that person is asking that of you also potentially 
because people can change. But you see, the universe is not saying let them in all willy-nilly without boundaries. No, keep your boundaries in place. But allow them to show and prove. Don't just cut them off right away and label them something that they may not be any longer. All right? But also, what's being said here in opening your heart, open your heart to forgiveness. Because you, Miss Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you need that forgiveness. It's not for the other person. It's for you. So that you can heal and move on. Instead of staying in this vibration of What is the word I'm looking for? Animosity, okay. There's another one though. Apathy, there we go. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Alrighty, kids. We're gonna get one more shuffle and then we're gonna get into the clarification. I'm gonna start with the Three of Wands and the Hermit here. Three of Wands and the Hermit, please, Spirit. The unknown. All right, so you're diving into the unknown here. Underneath the deck is the Three of Pentacles. Self-mastery makes perfect sense. Okay. Um, okay, so what this is saying here with the unknown card, this is a unique card to this deck. Um, it talks about not having all the answers. Um, oh my God, this is so perfect. Having faith in the universe, even though you don't have all the answers. But also, the biggest message that's coming through here is needing to have an open mind when dealing with something. Needing to be willing to see things from a different point of view. Basically, three of pentacles. Three of wands. Threes are numbers of teamwork. Three is, uh, the Three of Pentacles specifically is self-mastery. But also for those of you that actually do want to reconcile but are still stuck in this Queen of Pentacles reversed vibration, you have to be willing to work with this other person, which means you have to be willing to, to, to accept or entertain another person's point of view. Teamwork is not a one-way a, a one street. It's a two-way street. All parties need to have a say and need to be able to be heard and a group decision needs to be made. You can't just be running the ship being all dictator-ish. It doesn't work that way. Healthy relationships in any sense do not work well that way. Relationships are a two-way street. Okay. I'm going to move this over. Next, I want to clarify the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. There's so many threes here. Three of Wands, Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Ascended, the, the number of the Ascended Masters also, but teamwork. Okay, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, please, Spirit. Alrighty. Death and the Empress. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, transformation. And this transformation does speak to the, the uh, amalgamation. Ooh, that's a good word. The amalgamation of body, mind, and spirit. Okay? Amalgamation is coming from temperance here at the top of the deck. No, I'm sorry, at the top of the reading. But the empress is talking about abundance. And to me, this is talking about an abundance of time, especially when, it's, it, when it comes to the... Knight of Pentacles, because that Knight of Pentacles is so damn slow, y'all. <laughs> um, but also healing is coming through here. The energies of the Divine Feminine, who is compassion and unconditional love, okay? That is what is helping facilitate this healing. It's that mother-like energy. Slowly bringing things back into balance within you body, mind, and spirit, okay? Fertility, 
abundance. That's the biggest thing I'm getting with this, abundance. Abundance of time, abundance of space, abundance of energy. The only thing that cuts you off from this abundance is your own mind, says the, says the, the Empress. It is your own thoughts that keep you from allowing this abundance to flow into your life. This abundance can help you see different perspectives in order to help you heal and forgive and grow. Again, my child, says the, says the Empress, you do not have to allow anybody into, into your life if they cannot show and prove that they will treat you better, that they will treat you the way you know you deserve to be treated. You do not need to allow, you do not need to entertain that. But for your own safety, for your own well-being, for your own happiness, please just forgive. And no one is asking you to forgive right away. Obviously, this is going to take time, but for your own sake. Transform. Bring this situation to an end. Finally, let it rest. It's happened. It's over. It's done. Be the bigger person here. Allow the situation to fall away. That was a direct channeling. That was cool. Well, there's more, she's saying. Be the empress that you've always been. Because the empress is loving, unconditionally loving, and spiritually attuned, spiritually guided, and compassionate. She understands the nature of her children more than anyone else. Okay, and then we get to the Five of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles being in reverse here. Well, would you look at that. Three of Pentacles just came back out, and it's reversed now. And that's it. So look, there's another three on the table. Three sections. Three clarifiers. That's interesting. We have the page of wands here underneath the deck. There's a childlike innocence that I'm getting from the page of wands. And with the three of pentacles in reverse, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm, I'm getting two messages here. The first being there needs to be some self mastery work done. Some pieces need to be rebuilt internally before the, this Queen of Pentacles can entertain any sort of apologies or any sort of forgiveness. And that absolutely could be forgiving yourself, maybe for allowing the situation to continue the way it has. Another thing I'm seeing here is blockage. Not allowing the teamwork environment to rise and flourish but mainly and I don't really feel like this is all that malicious I don't it's not malicious it's just a product of what has happened in the past which is causing this internal conflict with the five of wands I'm hearing needing to let go so teamwork can happen. And that really could even be on the spiritual end. Actually, they're showing me night right now. Some of you are blocking the assistance that your spirit guides, your guardian angels, God, source creator, whomever you identify with. You're blocking the help that your guides are trying to provide with to you especially for those of you who may have asked for it. And that's where temperance is coming in. You're, some of you are asking for help, but the guidance you're getting is like, heal, reconcile. And you're like, absolutely not. He, doesn't, he or she does not deserve reconciliation from me. But then they're saying, but, but you're asking for our help. And this is going to help. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> You're doing a disservice to yourself there. Okay. With the page of wands here, this is needing to 
get inspired towards moving in a brand new direction. And it's also this child, it's a childlike innocence, um, getting back to the inner child and not holding grudges. Allowing the passion to rise within you again. All right. Okay. Let's see. Okay. We're getting some guidance today from the Whispers of Love. Heart, heart chakra healing is what spirit wants to bring forward. So we gonna do that. Mm -hmm. We gonna do that. <laughs> One more shuffle. All right, guys. Here we go. Best messages, please. Spirit for today, Thursday, January 24th. Many that want to come out. Best messages, please. Spirit for heart chakra cleansing and healing. Oh, that's it. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have embrace your emotions. Yes, 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 yes. Now, the other thing about the, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is she can probably be pretty cut off from her emotions. She probably cuts them off because she doesn't want to feel them. Very Queen of Swords-like. And here you have embrace your emotions. Don't push your feeling. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. You have to feel them in order to heal them. Okay. You have to perceive them, says spirit, in order to know, in order to heal them, because you're not going to know what to heal until you perceive it. Until you see it for yourself, see it with your own eyes. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. <laughs> Finally, you have a oh, beautiful spirit. Ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. And yo, the divine, the angels, your guides or whatever are standing right here like, yes, please ask me for help. I would love to help you. But then they're saying, but you, if you want our help, you have to listen to us. You have to open your heart and open your mind. Ooh, wow, that's beautiful. Okay. And I want to close the reading with some oracle guidance here from the unicorns. Yeah? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. This, yeah, just some closing guidance. I usually use the unicorns as action guidance, but I just didn't want to, I didn't want to classify it that way this time. I just wanted to say, you know, guidance, best guidance that the spirit and unicorns have for us. Here we go, kids. Best message, please, Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Holy shit. Underneath the deck, you have friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. But also, for some of you, this is get into the vibration of being friends again. No one is saying that this situation, reconciling through this situation, is going to be one shot and then you're back to where you started. No. Start from the bottom. Work your way back up. If you guys need to heal just in order to be acquaintances, let alone friends, do it. But work your way towards a friendship again. Maybe for some of you, maybe in for the first time. Possibility is your final message here. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. So that's actually a specific message for those of you that are saying, there's no way I could possibly reconcile with this person. Raise your standards. Point blank. Step your game up. Because you, at that point, you are the only one holding yourself in that position by saying you could, you, you could, by saying 
which is con which is which is translating into belief that you could never I could never oh yeah well shit that sounds like a personal problem <laughs> <laughs> oh boy all right guys so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in I hope this was helpful for you um, let's see what's going on tonight I'm finishing the last of the February readings and I'm doing some a personal reading I guess uh, potentially um, but then that's it Ooh, okay all right so um, I most likely will be going live on Instagram tonight just for a little bit of a check-in so again follow me there at divine underscore conversations go ahead and give me a like on facebook facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711 also both of the links are in the description box below mm, i love you guys i love you to pieces i hope you all have a great day and i'll just i'll see you later yeah <laughs> take care Mwah. bye